All right, well, here I am trying my first official reaction video. Yeah, I know, I know, but um, why not, you know? And also, I don't have that many stories to tell, so my major mistakes um, idea, I would eventually run out of things. Um, so I do have to intersperse, um, you know, with uh, different, uh, different things to do on the channel. A AKA doing a reaction video. Okay, so for the first video that I'm gonna do here, um, my previous um, actual video uh, was about my, my story about my, uh, my uh, clinical depression. Um, and I could technically go right into a, a reaction about depression stuff, but I don't wanna be too depressing. So uh, this is about introverts. Uh, this is a video by some a group called The Things Celebrity. I've never heard of them before. Um, but when looking for normally reaction, people who do reaction videos, they're decently famous enough that they got a following. So people are commenting and giving them ideas. Right now, I got nothing. So I got to do everything on my own. So I looked up introversion and uh, these people came up. I watched for like the first like, 15 seconds i was like okay this looks good i pause it and uh, okay i'm not gonna watch anymore uh this came out in 2017 uh february 2017 so this is over four years four years old so i don't feel bad at all uh for using uh their video um like i will never do a reaction video on something that someone released within the last you know month or even a few months like that 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 i feel like that's I feel like it's stealing, potentially stealing views, but I'm nowhere near big enough to um, to really draw a crowd from anyone anyway, but still, it's just proper etiquette to follow. So, uh, this video is called 10 Things Only Introverts Would Understand. I'm an introvert, uh, so this is definitely something within my, uh, within my, 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 my sphere of knowledge. Um, I've only been aware of what the difference between introverts and extroverts are since the past, I'd say 10 to 15 years. Before that, you know, everyone was like, oh, you're just as moody, gloomy. And, and people call me gloomy. They would only assume that I was gloomy only because I like to stay in my room. They just thought I was just in there in my covers like, oh, I'm so sad and depressed and sad. Because for extroverts, the only reason why they would be locked in the room is because they're so sad and depressed. But extroverts and introverts are not the same type of people. What extroverts find fun, introverts find to be a living nightmare. And what introverts find find fun, extroverts find that to be a living nightmare. So if we just understand each other, we can just get along way better. So uh, let me go ahead and start this video. And let's see if I can actually do this. When it comes to being social with strangers, introverts may not be the best. They love their alone time, but that doesn't mean yeah. they don't crave human interaction. True. What does it actually like to be an introvert? If you are a first time viewer, click the red subscribe button because today we are diving deep into 10 things well, let's only see. introverts I'm, would understand. Let's see if they... Eating alone is fine. It for is. some reason, it has become somewhat taboo to dine alone. People may actually feel sorry for you if you go out and eat by yourself. But for introverts, this is not a problem at all. In fact, they would sometimes prefer to eat alone. Not only will they not have hey, to- Hey, 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 I hit the pause button and it didn't pause. I even see the pause button, but it kept talking. This, now, as far as in public goes, yeah, like if I, back when we used to go to malls, I would go to, uh, you know, the food court, eat by myself, and wouldn't think twice. No one ever gave me this word. But guys eating by themselves, that's that's no strange thing. If a girl was by herself, then that was... <laughs> the creeps would, would, would definitely uh, swarm in like a pack of vultures, wouldn't they? But anyways... Um but say with no, if I'm in a group of friends, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be like, yo, I love you guys, but I'm gonna go eat by myself. No, when you're out with friends, you're out with friends, you're out with family, you're out with family. But if I'm home and I'm living with either roommates or or family or whatever the case may be, yeah, I'll eat by myself. Why do I have? To, I'm not the type of person. Like, hey, I'm gonna eat. Can you come and and give me? I don't know why I would even do that, but um, but especially with the family, yeah. For me, if if I'm not 
actually in a group with anyone and I'm having a meal, it's my time. It's it's my time. So this hopefully will explain things. I think I should have started with another video before this one to better explain what introverts are. But let's finish this one. With small talk, they can actually enjoy their meal in peace. Yes. And more times than not, they make sure to secure their solitude by wearing headphones or reading a book. It can no, wait. not always. When it comes to checking their phones, an introvert doesn't see any sort of rush. Most of the time, their phone isn't even close to them. When they get a phone call, they know that it's probably not a friend because they know better than to call. Introverts yes. don't really like talking on the phone. Texting is the best way to communicate, but even then, they don't see a rush to respond. That's... Well, then again, different people are, are, are different also. You have different levels of introversion and whatever. My phone's near me all the time. I'm not always checking Twitter. I don't do Twitter. Um, uh, texting is the most efficient way of communication, but if someone that I know calls me, I'll pick it up. I won't be like, why are they calling me? No, but I can understand extreme introverts feeling like that. Uh, texting is the best way to communicate, but even then they don't see a rush to respond. No, if I get a text, I, I respond. Usually pretty damn quick. Um, I think this. I think this was made by extroverts who did a quick reading of what it. Well, no, that's not fair either. This seems like an overgeneralization, but anyways, I know I'm pausing, but this is just a. This is just just to for me to give uh, provide my two cents. And canceled plans are the best. Not only do they dread getting party invites most of the time, but actually showing up to a party of strangers can be their worst nightmare. Okay, yes, but two, the best thing is if you get invited to do a party with strangers, be like, um, no thanks. That's one thing that I've gotten really good at doing in my life. Someone invites me to something that I think is shitty or I'm not going to have fun. I'll be like, oh, I, I appreciate I appreciate you, um, you offering that to me, but it, that doesn't sound like my kind of jam or it's not my kind of scene. And the look on my face would ruin for, for everyone. You know, so I'll, you know, I'll, you know, you know thanks. But I uh, hope you hope you have fun. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. No, trust me. I will be like, you know, say something like, trust me. I, <laughs> I won't be having fun. It'll be obvious I won't be having fun, and everyone else will notice that I'm not having fun, and you don't want that. So again, you know, thank you, but I, I know that's not my kind. You know, just something like that. Just tell them, look, it's not just for me, but for you too, because everyone will know that. Ugh. Now, if it's friends that I like, people that I do like, oh hell yeah, hey, you want to come hang out, especially if it's a girl, or if it's a girl, a guy, or same sex if, if you swing that way but whatever the case is someone you're interested in and they invite you out hell yeah we're gonna go introverts are not shut-ins introvertedness simply means we have a limited we have a battery a social battery that depletes as, as we're out in social gatherings and the way that battery repletes is when we're away from everyone and we can emotionally recharge but constantly being in crowds all the time drains us severely and the more the more work and effort we have to put on it, the faster that energy, that that social energy drains quicker. If we're with friends and it's easy and lighthearted, we can last all night. It just depends on how hard we have to work, work on our social skills, basically. That's why when plans or parties get canceled, it's the best thing ever. They don't have to get dressed up. If it's or one that I didn't want to go to, but for some reason I promise and then it gets canceled, people. yes, They're that's a great feeling. They're more than happy to have plans with a small group of friends. Yes. They would much rather be at home reading or watching Netflix. No new friends. Why do they keep saying reading? I mean, I'm I'm a reader. I read every now and then. I'm a decent reader. I read at least at least one book a month on average. But I'm not. But they're making it sound like introverts are the only ones that read, or all we like to do is watch Netflix and read. This is a gross generalization that I'm that I'm I'm finding I'm not fit, fond of. When it comes to making friends, they probably take the process nice and slow. True. Introverts can easily talk to anyone, but small talk can quickly become boring. What yes. makes it even harder is introverts don't exactly like to let their walls down quickly. They have their group of mm. friends and stick with them. Yes. Surprisingly, introverts thrive online because it's a less intimate environment. Thrive online.
I think this comes more to personal taste. I get along and make friends way faster face to face than on text. Mostly the reason because my personality type and the way I speak and my sense of humor doesn't transfer well on text. It is way better when I'm in person. You can feel my, you know, you can sense me. You can, you know, you can see my little expressions because um, I'm a weird, I'm, I'm a weird cat. Um, but people generally like my, my peculiarities when they meet me face to face. I've had a dollar for every time I've, I've, I've this is, this has happened to me. Oh my god, that's so fun! You know, I've never met anyone like you ever before. I just, I'm so glad I met you. That's happened so many damn times, but that only happens face to face. That's never happened. Oh my god, I'm so glad I met. That almost never happens on text. Um, so this I'm gonna say is depends on on the particular person. This isn't all introverts. And they can take their time with responding to others. Yeah. Work is work. When it comes to work, introverts only see it as a place to get their job done. It's not a place for them to make new friends or chit-chat. Yes. Ish. Like, I'll have my, my, uh, my friends in, at work do their job that I like chit-chatting with, but... They can easily become distracted and annoyed when their coworkers are being too chatty or seem like they aren't working. Yes! <laughs> okay, they nailed that one. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, 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 okay, there's, there's a lot of generalization, but some of the generalizations do ring true for me. So I guess it depends on the person. Some of the things they say, I'm going to be like, yes, and some things I'll be like, eh, kind of, sort of, not really. But in this one, yes. Um, I, well, but, hmm. How do I explain this one? Like, I've been known to BS around, but that's when everyone else is BSing around. But when, but when I can tell it's work time, there's things going on, especially when I used to work at the office, the phone's ringing, we're all working, and then someone says, da 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 well, my, da 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 um, of course, I'm, I'm being stereotypical with Latinas, but, you know, they talk about, oh, did you hear about this, da 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 and I hear these girls talking, and we got customers live, people on the phone live, they, and they're just BSing around like a bunch of to an introvert, this seems lazy, and they just can't get why some people think work is a social hour when there is so much work to actually be done. Okay, now I'm not a workaholic by any stretch of, of the of the word. Um, yeah, work is work, true, and yeah, of course you chill, you know, you on downtime. But when when things are going, now is not the time to. <sighs> Anyways, needless to say, they work better alone. Alone time is awesome. Yes. People need to remember that just because someone is alone all the time, it doesn't mean they're actually lonely. No one knows this better than an introvert. In fact, there is nothing better to an introvert than having alone time. Yes, they will socialize every now and then, but having one big night out can last them for a while. True. Mm, ish. Depending on the night out. Because sometimes you get addicted to the kind of fun, like let's say... For a guy, this is, of course, from my person, uh, personal experience, you know, back in my early 20s and early 30s, my 20s and early 30s, when I used to go out and I meet girls pretty damn decently, that became addicting. And I went out all the time. I went out Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, then spent Sunday and part of Monday recovering. <laughs> um, that was a long time ago, though. And that was being an introvert. And then I hard needed my alone time to recharge my social, you know, my, my, it felt, I felt emotionally drained. Like after, like after a bender of, of being out, I just felt like, like, Hey John, this really exciting thing that you normally like is on. Do you want to watch it? Uh, that, that's how you feel when you're, when, when you're so drained emotionally from so much social interaction, you literally need your, no, 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 I don't want, I love you, but I need my, I need, I need to shut, I need, I need, I need peace and quiet, which I know for extroverts is, is, you know, might as well put them in a, uh, in a solitary confinement. Um, but for us, it's healing, it's nurturing, it's like a blanket and we, we just feel, we feel better after some time of just some peace and quiet and then we're ready for, for more noise. They know that being alone makes them happy and they will never actually get bored. They're they perfectly content with. Oh, God, I'm, I'm, I'm pausing a lot, but if I had a 
If I had a penny for every time I heard, John, you've been in there by yourself. Aren't you? Are, are you sad? Or wouldn't you rather? Wouldn't you rather? Wouldn't you rather? I would rather if you would just leave me the f alone. And I am perfectly happy where I am. You bothering and trying to tell me what would make me feel better is not helping. Being alone and are very independent. Those are extroverts. They Having mean well, but schedule. they fucking While piss me off. some people might be depressed that they don't have any social weekend plans, an introvert loves a clear schedule. This gives them time to read, binge watch shows on Netflix, and just... Depends. Depends. If you've got a nice normal life, you got a significant other... You know, you got good family, whatever. Then this, this is this would be an introvert. They, they they prefer their alone time. But if you're single, living on your own, you are starving for intimacy and you know of any kind, whether it's you know family and intimacy. Take your head out the gutter. It's not what I mean. You know, spending good quality time with the family or spending good mm, quality time with your with your boo. We need that just like anyone else. If we don't have that, lonely weekends by ourselves also feels very lonely. We feel lonely also. But when things are good, we have, you know, we, 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 we have our emotional and social support. You know, we got our significant others, our family, our close friends. And, and you know, we got a good, good thing going on. I see my friend I, or I'm hanging out with my girlfriend, my boyfriend, whatever. Then we then we really appreciate the weekends of just just us by ourselves, or maybe you know, of course, with our with our boyfriend or girlfriends, just the two of us. And that that just feels delicious. Me, I've been without a boo since it's no one's business, but many many years. And weekends, some weekends are better than others, but yeah, I I've um, <laughs> when the when the pandemic hit. And everyone's like, oh my god, you know, I've been alone and I, I can't look for a boyfriend or girlfriend. I'm like, I'm like <laughs> join the club. I've been here for years. Just relax. They don't have to worry about the anxiety that comes with group events and don't have I did to it to myself. I purposely kept myself out of no the dating fear of missing pool. missing out because to them, missing but out still. is not being at home alone with a good book or TV. Again with a goddamn good book. Introversion doesn't mean you just like being a nerd, reading books, watching TV, or reading comic books. Being an introvert simply means you have a limited battery on, or you know, you have a limited amount of of social energy to to use. It's limited, so we're very careful on where and how we use it. That doesn't mean that we just love to read books and comic books and be fucking nerds. That's what extroverts thinks, and it's pissing me off. TV show. Online ordering. One of the best inventions ever to an introvert is the online shopping cart. They can get everything they need from groceries to a new wardrobe. What's even better is they can do it from the comfort of their own. This is another bullshit one. This is introverts and extroverts. I've seen plenty of extroverts love online shopping. This is just for people who are lazy and just don't want to go out. Extroverts love going out. That's how they refill their social battery. As long as they're out with people and they got people around them, they feel great the whole time. No drainage is going on. They drain when they're by themselves and they have to go out. Oh my God, I need to talk to someone to refill their batteries. Does that mean every extrovert is a nutcase, party animal, whatever, that always wants to go shopping and always is on the go? No, you have lazy you have lazy uh, extroverts also who don't want to go, you know, by themselves and to go shopping at a mall, whatever. Some do love it. Some prefer to shop on online or Amazon again. All right. This is generalizations made that a few of them have hit home for me. But for the most part, this is bullshit home without having to interact with other people it's not introverts just also introverts know how awesome ordering food online is so do extroverts thought of having to call you got a, a big party over order, and you order online yeah you don't have to go anywhere you keep the party going empty seats when it comes to public transportation or movie theaters introverts don't freak out when someone doesn't sit next to them they don't automatically assume something is wrong with them no For actually an i prefer it's just the opposite no one, yeah. they love when they're lucky enough to sit alone in public okay this is they a generalization that actually happens to ring true for me and they have their but i'm sure there's Most there might be some introverts that'd be like no i'd love it when someone sits next to me but in my case, this rings true. At the time, they won't even give strangers an option to sit next to them because their bag will occupy the free space uh, next to them. I've thought of doing shit like that, the but I... The struggle is real. 
Now, it may seem that introverts are these independent creatures who don't want any sort of a human contact, but that isn't the case. Right. Most of the time, they really long to be with their friends and loved ones, okay. but they also yeah. want to be alone at the same time. The struggle they are constantly going through is the need to be with someone, but also wanting their independence. Most introverts have that one person they can call when they are feeling lonely. Usually, it's someone they can sit alone with that they don't have to entertain or talk to. They just find comfort in their presence. Bullshit. I'll let this finish before I... Okay. What are some more things on... All right. I'm going to ignore these. The tenth... Well, no. Okay. It, this is, Hopefully, this is made for an interesting viewing. Um, this seems to have been written by a group of people who... Either some introverts and some extroverts, and there's just a lot of generalizations going on here. Anyways, I've pretty much spoken uh, what I wanted to speak about this one. Uh, hopefully, I find another one that's a little bit more well-rounded on the information, and I'll upload that one. So, um, thank you for joining me on my first uh, official <laughs> reaction video. I feel silly doing this. I've seen a ton of reaction videos myself, and here I am doing one myself. But um, anyways, later.